In this video today, I'm gonna to be walking through my DJ setup and how much I spent on it. So first of all, we have the Rain 12s Mark 1s. I bought these a few years back and they've been a great addition to my setup. As a DJ, I kind of love turntablism and I love all the big platters and everything. So I decided to go with the Rain 12s. I wasn't originally gonna get them. I was gonna get a pair of turntables and get the needles and get the arm and stuff like that. But then I thought, you know what? If I end up getting that, I'm gonna to have to replace the needles because obviously they're gonna wear down and stuff like that. So then I started doing a little bit of research research then I saw the rain 12 the rain 12s are pretty much turntables but they're digital they don't have the tone arm they don't have the needles so I thought this this was a no-brainer but this was before phase was a big thing so I went ahead and bought the rain 12 mark ones these turntables connect straight to my laptop and work perfectly with Serato they do have a mark 2 version but the mark 2 version isn't that much of a big upgrade so I decided to just not bother and stick with the mark ones these cost me 700 pound each and I also got dust protectors with them which cost 43 pound each so so far, my DJ setup is £1,486. So next up is probably the best DJ purchase I've ever bought because it's pretty much excelled my DJ skills and made me a lot better DJ. And this is the DJM S9 mixer. This mixer alongside the Rain 12s is great. As you can see, it's got eight pads for me to use when I'm DJing, the trigger effects and a load of other features on there. I honestly think if you've been DJing for about two, three years and you've been using a controller, if you upgrade to a setup with a DJM S9 or one of the S series mixers, it's gonna make you a lot better DJ because you can become a lot more creative with your DJ mixes. I've done so many DJ routines over the past few years and I honestly don't think I could have done Done these routines without this DJM S9. So at the time of purchase, this mixer cost me £700. I managed to get it off eBay. This mixer is now discontinued because there's an S7, S11, and an S5. But if you look on eBay, you'll probably still be able to find an S9. I also got a dust protector with this, which cost £40. So in total for my setup, it is now £2,226. Now we have the laptop stand. Now I'm gonna talk to every single DJ here. I guarantee when you first started, you had the laptop stand where you had to screw in two poles to two side things and you know what, that DJ stand was probably one of the worst things I've ever bought. But this DJ stand here, literally all you need to do is unfold it and fold it. There's not really much more to say about this stand, but it was 38 pounds. So the total of this DJ setup is now 2,264 pounds. Just to let you know, I'm gonna leave the links to everything down in the description down below so you can go purchase it if you want it. Now for the most expensive part of this setup, the MacBook Pro. This MacBook has the following specs. It's a MacBook 2018, 13 inch. It's got i5 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. This laptop's been with me for about four or five years and I haven't had any complaints with it. I've literally had about three Serato crashes in the whole time and that's about it but that's not really much to scream about. The good thing I love about this laptop is that it has four USB ports and this is really hard to find these days. If I didn't have these four USB ports I'd have to go out and buy a USB hub and I literally don't I don't mess around with them things. I don't think they're reliable. So I feel like when I'm DJing and I'm using HID mode, I wanna plug into the laptop directly. I don't wanna be plugging into a USB hub for that to disconnect and then disconnect the CDJs and the mixer and then my laptop stop, nah. Literally, if you can find a MacBook Pro out there that has four USB-C slots, make sure you go and get it. If you're thinking about getting a new DJ MacBook, make sure you look at refurbished ones first. There's sites like Music Magpie that has refurbished old MacBooks that are like 2018, 2017 models, which are a lot more affordable. If you end up going to Apple and going to try purchase one of the M2 MacBooks, you will be looking at spending about 3,000 pounds for a laptop. And I know a lot of DJs don't have that kind of money at the moment. This laptop cost me 2,000 pounds when I bought it. So the total for my setup now is 4,264 pounds. Now for some extra additions to my setup. I have these two bright lights for my DJ setup and these are for my DJ videos and my live streams. Now you probably don't need these big bright lights but I literally got these for my YouTube videos and I thought you know what why don't I start making the production of my DJ videos a lot better so I started using the lights from my YouTube videos that you can see here um, in my DJ videos and it's made my videos look a lot better. You gotta think you're competing against other DJs online so if you improve your video quality you're gonna be standing out ahead of the competition. So so I feel like my DJ videos are top quality. So I'm kind of standing out ahead of most other DJs. So if you feel like you wanna improve your DJ videos, buy some decent lights to shine on you, shine on your equipment to make things look a lot better. These lights cost me 140 pounds and they're not actually that expensive. So this brings my DJ setup to a total of 4,404 pounds. Now for the purchase that enhanced my visuals online completely. Initially, this camera was used for my YouTube videos, but I started to use it for my DJ routines online and it's improved the quality of my visuals. Here we have the Canon M50 camera. I bought this secondhand online for about 400 pounds and it's improved my visuals for both YouTube and DJ videos. On this camera, 
camera, I have a Sigma lens. This is how you get a clean video with a blurry background. This lens cost me 300 pounds and then I also have this tripod. This tripod allows me to stand the camera up and position it either horizontally or vertically. The tripod was 30 pounds, so the total camera setup was 730 pounds. So this brings my DJ setup to a total of 5,134 pounds. Now we have the KRK Rocket 5s. I can't lie, I only really picked these speakers up because they look cool. Um, I don't actually know if they're the best DJ speakers for a setup, but I went with them because look at them. They do they do look quite cool. These are just connected to my DJM S9 and they output the volume from my DJ software. These speakers cost me 150 pounds off eBay. So this brings my DJ setup to a total of 5,284 pounds. Now the thing that holds up this entire setup is the Gorilla Stand. I think this is one of my first purchases I ever bought for my setup and it's been with me for so many years. There's not really much to say about it, but it cost me 80 pounds. So this brings the total of my DJ setup to 5,364 pounds. This setup has taken me years to build don't think you need to go out and spend five thousand pound today to get this set up over the years you're going to save money from your dj gigs and you're going to buy bits and pieces for your dj setup gradually then eventually you're going to have a decent dj setup at home i hope this video has given you some sort of inspiration for your dj setup like i said earlier in the video all the links to everything that i've spoke about in this video are down in the description down below now that you've watched this video check this video out here